Large language model LLM is a type of AI program that can process and generate human language. They can be used for a variety of tasks, including generating text, translating languages, and writing different kinds of creative content. Their usage is rapidly evolving, and their impact on society is likely to increase significantly in the coming years. Having a basic understanding of their capabilities can prepare you for the potential changes they may bring and allow you to participate in discussions about their development and use. In this video, we'll cover the top 10 must-know terms. Let's start with model parameters. These are the variables that are learned by an LLM during training. The number of parameters can vary depending on the size and complexity of the model. For example, a small LLM might have a few million parameters, while a large LLM like OpenAI's GPT-3 had over 175 billion parameters and newer ones going over trillions of parameters. Next up is proprietary LLMs versus open source LLMs. LLMs can also be classified as either proprietary or open source. Proprietary LLMs are developed and owned by private companies such as OpenAI's GPT-3 and Google's Gemini. Open source LLMs, on the other hand, are developed and maintained by communities of developers. Some popular open source LLMs include Meta's Llama and Mistral AI's most popular Mistral 8 by 7B model. Pre-training and fine-tuning. Pre-training is a technique that is used to train LLMs on a massive amount of general purpose text data. This data can include books, articles, code, and even social media posts. The goal of pre-training is to teach the LLM to understand the relationships between words and how they are used in different contexts. Fine-tuning. This is the process of taking a pre-trained LLM and specializing it for a specific task. By feeding the LLM task-specific data, you fine-tune its parameters for exceptional performance in your domain. Embeddings. Before an LLM can process text, it needs to convert it into a format that it can understand. This is done through a process called embedding. Tokenization breaks down text into individual units, such as words or subwords. These tokens are then assigned numerical values, called embeddings. Embeddings allow the LLM to represent the meaning of each token in a high-dimensional space. Prompt engineering. Prompt engineering is the art of crafting prompts that will elicit the desired response from an LLM. A prompt is a piece of text that is given to the LLM as input. The quality of the prompt can have a big impact on the quality of the output. RAG stands for Retrieval Augmented Generation. It is a technique that can be used to improve the accuracy and coherence of LLM outputs. RAG works by first retrieving relevant information from a knowledge base and then using that information to generate text. Hallucinations. LLMs are not perfect, and they can sometimes generate text that is factually incorrect or misleading. It is important to be aware of the potential for hallucination when working with LLMs. Guardrails. Guardrails are techniques that can be used to mitigate the risks of hallucination and other problems with LLMs. Some common guardrails include filtering out unsafe or offensive text and using human reviewers to fact-check outputs. Finally, LLM Ops. LLM Ops is the practice of managing and operating LLMs in production environments. This includes tasks such as monitoring the performance of LLMs, retraining them on new data, and ensuring that they are used in a safe and responsible manner. I hope this video has given you a better understanding about large language models. As this is a complex and rapidly evolving field, it is important to stay up to date on the latest developments. But by understanding these key terms, you'll be well on your way to working with LLMs effectively. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos on AI and data.